Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. If you guys have a Lincoln, MKS, MKZ or MKT guys, stay with us and we're going to discuss a common problem with the 3.5 or 3.7 engine. If you guys have coolant in your oil, we're going to explain what causes that. That same engine guys, it's a Ford engine, it's used in many vehicles and that's why we decided to make the video and let you know if you have one of those and you experience how to fix it. Now our goal guys at the shop is to save you as much money as we can so please give a subscribe every vehicle we get at the shop will have at least 200 views. So let's start on the reason why you can have coolant in your oil. So we're taking this for the part guys it has the same engine whether you have the 3.5 or 3.7 the procedure is practically the same. Uh, we're going to explain now what could cause to mix oil and coolant. Now. Let me explain guys, there are two reasons, stay with us until the end. Number one, your, oil, uh, your water pump, coolant pump. This is the number one reason and it fails in two ways, so let us explain you what we're talking about now. Okay, that water pump, ridiculous place in my opinion, okay, probably there is a good reasoning behind it, but uh, <coughs> it's timing chain driven pump so what that means the pump is inside the engine it's not on the outside on other vehicles usually when the uh, coolant pump fails the coolant starts dripping outside okay so you can definitely see that it's a pump now in this case guys you cannot see for sure what's happening until you take it apart and this coolant pump water pump is located in the timing Okay, timing chain compartment here because it's timing chain driven. All that is hidden behind this timing cover on the side of the engine. So you cannot see this, uh, this cover is exactly the same for 3.5 and 3.7. This is where your pump is behind this bump. So you don't know for sure, okay, what is happening until you take, take things apart. And that's, uh, that's a lot of work. We have the whole video on the channel. Check it out in the description of the video what needs to be done for the replacement. Now, this pump guys, it fails in two ways usually, it can start leaking from the shaft or from the gasket and all that will end up going in the oil pan. Okay, this thing down there, the black thing, this is your engine oil, this is your oil pan. And it will just directly go in the oil pan. So, that's why you can have coolant in your oil. Now, if I pull that pump out, okay, on the inside you're going to see that it has two gaskets that are rubber gaskets and those gaskets guys after a while they fail. Why? Because they're exposed to constant heat from the coolant and the oil as well and they will start frying like this one here. As a result eventually coolant will start dripping in the, in the oil pan and coolant and oil will mix. Now the fix is not expensive if you do everything yourself and we have the complete video but I'll definitely recommend to get a new timing chain when you do that because you can see okay you can see that this pump is timing chain driven so you have to take the chain off okay this is the chain right there take the chain off and then you will need to guys set the timing again with special timing tools that you can find listed in the description of the video so please check these things out as well Hopefully guys the video will be helpful to some of you having a Lincoln MKS, MKZ or MKT. Thank you for watching guys, please subscribe and see you guys next time.